Hello, Internet. It's me, Grumpy Princess. I know we haven't talked in a while. How are things? <laughs> Grumpy Princess Show. As you may have noticed, things are shifting around a little bit here in America. One example, women's rights, at least as seen by our government, seem to be time traveling into the past. <laughs> Thanks, rape party. I mean, Republican party. Sorry, slip of the tongue. Innocent mistake. Now, it seems like you all could use some advice on being a lady person in a full-blown patriarchal society. Not this, like, patriarchy light where we pretend to respect women and then secretly don't. I'm talking about full-on, you are child-rearing, property-level patriarchy. As a princess, I'm an expert on historical oppressive systems. Don't worry, you'll be fine. As long as you are skinny, pretty, and white enough. And then if you just follow all the rules and manage to avoid any future Supreme Court justices, you should be okay. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Start off with some etiquette classes so that you can marry well. This is important because the etiquette rules might be changing. I don't have time to go over all of it in this video, but you can't go wrong with the fundamental men's feelings are more important than women's safety. It all kind of boils down to that. Jobs may be frowned upon. Frankly, your sexual harassability is way too distracting to the men trying to work. But hey, that leaves you with so much time to practice your needlepoint. I mean, the work-life balance thing was way too unattainable anyway. And this doesn't mean that you're completely powerless. No, you can definitely have influence if you marry a king and bear him lots of children. Just make sure that you don't die in childbirth. That gets a little bit harder without Planned Parenthood, but I believe in you. Now, the upside of having diminished sexual agency is rape doesn't exist anymore. I mean, sure, women still get fucked without their consent, but here's the thing. If you just don't say no, then it's not a violation. Denial is really useful here. If you just don't ever say no, then you don't have to be a victim. Good for you. Conservative women are really ahead of the curve on this one, so talk to them. You can still be successful. It just might be a little bit out of your control. For example, if you were born to a father who owns huge tracts of land, if you find yourself in this position, take advantage of it. You'll now be eligible for government jobs that you're completely unqualified for. Just don't fuck it up by trying to stand up for the little people, like women. Plus, you'll get ladies in waiting. Who doesn't want ladies in waiting? What, that, that doesn't sound good? Castles are cool. <laughs> is it oppression funny? <laughs> Oh my god, this is awful! What the fuck? What is wrong with all of you? It's not funny, it's not funny. That, that, that is not what we want. That's actually the worst possible outcome. Seriously, everybody, get your shit together. This is not okay. I don't care how hopeless you feel. You can feel that way and, and then go vote. I know the Democrats are not perfect, but they're not literal Satan, which is a whole lot better than what's actually happening at this point. I don't care how you feel about Hillary. Get over it. Jesus fucking Christ, just go vote. Do your homework and then vote. And yes, I, I am only talking to those of you who actually care about women's rights. The rest of you can go fuck yourselves. There are more of us than there are of you. Please vote. For the love of God, please vote. This has been a public service announcement from Grumpy Princess. Please don't make me